In a forgotten village nestled between towering trees, a legend whispered among the villagers, a tale that sent shivers down their spines, the legend of Anna dressed in blood. No one dared to speak her name aloud, for fear that she might hear and come for them. The legend spoke of Anna, a young girl who had met a gruesome end decades ago. She had been murdered on the night of her 16th birthday, and her white dress was stained with her own blood. Since that fateful night, her ghost had haunted the decaying mansion where she had lived, seeking vengeance on anyone who dared enter. Cass, a teenager with a fascination for the supernatural, arrived in the village with his mother. They were paranormal investigators, chasing stories of ghosts and ghouls. Cass had heard the whispers about Anna and her vengeful spirit, and he was determined to uncover the truth behind the chilling legend. As the sun set and darkness draped the village in shadows, Cass gathered his courage and set out for the ominous mansion. The moon cast an eerie glow on the dilapidated building, and the wind whispered through the trees like a mournful lament. Cass hesitated at the entrance, his heart racing, but he knew he had to face his fears. The mansion's interior was a symphony of creaks and groans as Cass ventured deeper. Moonlight filtered through cracked windows, revealing dust-covered furniture and fading portraits of a family long gone. Cass's flashlight flickered, casting fleeting shadows that danced like specters. He felt a sudden drop in temperature, and his breath misted in the frigid air. A voice, soft as a whisper, echoed through the hallway. Who dares to disturb my slumber? Cass's heart pounded as he turned toward the source of the sound. There she stood, Anna, dressed in a blood-stained white gown, her eyes hollow and brimming with malevolence. Cass swallowed hard, his voice barely a tremor. I... I'm Cass. I came to learn your story, Anna. Anna's laughter <laughs> rang out, a chilling melody that seemed to seep into his very bones. You wish to know my story? It's a tale of betrayal and agony, of a life cut short by those I trusted. As Anna recounted her tragic tale, her voice grew colder, and the room seemed to darken further. She had been betrayed by her own family twisted web of deceit and jealousy leading to her gruesome demise. Cass listened, his heart heavy with sorrow for the girl trapped in this tormented existence. You've heard my story, Anna hissed, her form flickering in and out of existence. But understanding does not grant you mercy. With a sudden burst of rage, Anna lunged at Cass, her fingers like ice as they closed around his throat. Cass gasped for air, his vision fading as he struggled against her supernatural grip. In his desperate fight for survival, his hand brushed against something on the floor, a rusted dagger. Summoning every ounce of strength, Cass grasped the dagger and plunged it into Anna's chest. Her grip loosened, and she let out a blood-curdling scream that echoed through the mansion. Her form convulsed and contorted before dissipating into a chilling mist that vanished into the night. Cass stumbled back, gasping for breath, his heart still racing. The mansion felt emptier, the air less suffocating. As dawn approached, the first rays of sunlight began to pierce the darkness, illuminating the now serene mansion. The villagers awoke to a village no longer haunted by Anna's malevolent presence. The legend of Anna dressed in blood would live on, but as a cautionary tale rather than a terrifying reality. And Cass, 
forever changed by his encounter, would carry the memory of that bone-chilling night with him, a reminder of the thin veil that separates the living from the dead.